Hello and welcome back to Mikey's Flight Deck. Today I will show you how you can build the two hydraulic sections of your 737 overhead panel. And watch out, two colored panels this time. The doors annunciator panel is really easy to make. You just need a bunch of annunciators and the two panel layers, which are screwed together temporarily. All ground connections are soldered together to come out with one single wire. For the hydraulic segment you need the lower and middle panel as well as a two colored top panel. Instead of showing you the process how I CNC these white panels out, I want to explain you the steps I've done to come out with these panels in detail. Here you can see the white panel when you have cut it off. And I know this isn't white, it's gray, but it's only to show you um, the difference between the different layers. I will add a coat of white lacquer onto this panel. The RAL code is 9002. And onto this lacquer, I apply a coat of clear varnish just to protect the white lacquer when I wipe away the unneeded wax which I will apply later here. Now I engrave everything of these lacquers away just over the letters. So I have routed out the uh, silhouette of every letter after this. The goal is that the light can come through this panel and is visible again on the surface of the acrylic sheet. Now a second engraving process is done and this time I'm engraving everything out around these letters so that after the engraving only the letters are sticking out of the acrylic and are visible. And all these surroundings will be filled with black wax later. I wipe away everything that is not needed and the result is that only the tips of the letters stick out of the black wax. After this I apply another coat of clear varnish over it all and so I come out with only the letters are backlighted on this panel. Beside the panels you will need four big on-off switches, four pieces of an 8mm aluminum tube and four switch caps. And again, some annunciators.
again the ground pins are soldered together. Two hex standoffs are screwed in place to hold the back lighting panel and fix the upper panel. The switches are heated up to prevent the hot glue from hardening too fast. Now after the panels are finished and installed into the overhead frame, I want to show the computer work that has to be done to connect the panels to ProSim and your simulator. First of all, I do all the declaration work in MobiFlight. I don't want to show you the declaration of the devices in MobiFlight every time again. If you have watched my previous videos, then you know how to declare switches and LEDs to MobiFlight. And so I only want to show you in short what I have done here. In the settings I have declared a new Arduino, the Arduino F now, and there I have declared all the LEDs for the door control panel. I name this now. And I have added some more devices here to the Arduino E the four switches and the LEDs. I have declared the outputs, which are all the LEDs here. If you want to know why I have named them uh, as I have done this, again, watch my previous videos. There I go through my connection sheet in detail. And the inputs here in the switches are declared here too. So now let's find the places where we can declare the offsets in ProSim. I have opened ProSim systems and here under config and configuration, I go to combine config and I want to start with the LEDs of all these door annunciators here. And these I can find under the Michelangelo's category and under indicators. And here you can see all these names beginning with door. These are the LEDs you should watch for. And here I will insert the offsets I have written down before. The 12 lights are declared and now to the upper hydraulic panel. And for this, I switch to the hydraulics category here. And I will also start with the indicators, which we can find here. The indicators are declared and now to the switches you can just go here to switch and down here we find the on states of the hydraulic switches to which we assign the offsets to. All the programming work in ProSim is done now too and I will now start MobiFlight and the simulator and then we'll test if everything works. 
Now the simulator, ProSim and MobiFlight are running. And you can already see here on the panels that the indicators light up as they should be. So let's test some of the not lighted up indicators by clicking here on ProSim. And you can see when I click the test function of the indicator, then the corresponding indicator lights up here as well on my hardware. The overheat, yes, they are working. So let's have a look at the switches. They are in the off position now. And when I switch them in the on position, then you can see the corresponding switch in MobiFlight is doing the same. And also the indicator behavior is the right one. Next one, the switch goes off here and I mean on. Alec one and the last one and on again. Indicators are lighting up. Everything's working. And here are now the new panel sections mounted to the overhead frame. The configuration wasn't shown as detailed as in the previous videos. I have told this to you already. You know already how to configure an LED or a switch and there is nothing else here at these panel sections. If you want to know how to make a configuration file in MobiFlight, if you want to know how to search components and insert offsets in ProSim, then watch my previous videos. I go through every step of the configuration here in detail. If you want to build your own panel at home, then you can find downloadable files for your CNC router in the member section of my website. And I have to go on now to the next topic of the cockpit building process. And if you don't want to miss this, then subscribe to my channel to stay informed about any upcoming new video from me. So I hope we'll see you soon back on the flight deck.